Hi, this is Allie. I'm here to make a little project with you and show you how to make something out of stuff that you probably were going to throw away or something of that nature. Totally recyclable. And it, this is what it is. It's a little gift box. As you can see, there's some yarn here and some pretty fabric and it's all folded. So when it's all done, so you're going to fold it on this side and you're going to staple it and you can put your goodies in there. Now, there's so many things you could put in here. Let me show you. So I did this weed bracelet. This will fit in here. Okay, like that. And then you staple it shut. I didn't staple it shut because I still want to put gifts in there. And the cute little um, yarn here makes it all pretty. And that's a nice gift thing. Um, you could put anything in there. I made some handmade bracelets. So you could put your cute little, see these little bracelets I made? Very simple. Stick them in your box, staple, staple it shut, and you have a gift for a mom, a sister, or even a child, depending on what size bracelet you make. You could put candy in here. Another cool thing what you could do is you could put um, Christmas wrapping paper that you're after Christmas or before Christmas, you could have extra pieces and you could wrap this up in Christmas paper and it could be like an advent calendar. Number it for your kids and they each could take one off, open it up and there'll be a little something in there for them. So there's many things you could use this for. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. Very easy, very simple and you should pretty much have everything around your house right there at your fingertips. That's how fast and easy this will be. So I'll give you a list of supplies. You will need, I use recycled yarn. There was a project that someone was not gonna use. I found it at a Goodwill store. So I unravel it like this. And that's how I get the curlies on my project. Okay, so I start with that. And then I pick out toilet paper roll. You always have those. Just start sticking them in a bag like I do. And you'll have your toilet paper roll. A piece of fabric. Now, I have fabric pieces that I just don't use. I've made something with it or I found it at a secondhand store at a really good price and I got that. And then yarn, I mean, not yarn, ribbon. Just a, a part of a roll that I have not even finished. I only need a little bit. So this is all used. You'll need a stapler, a pair of scissors, and some glue if you're using fabric. If you're not using fabric and you're using paper, a glue stick is totally fine. So it's really up to you what you want to use. You can use a glue stick on the um, fabric, but I prefer to use fabric glue or you could even use a white glue. I particularly like the art glitter glue, not advertising or anything, but that's my other favorite glue. I use this on paper. This particular glue is really great because it's good on paper to paper, fabric to paper, and Fabric to fabric. This is great. It sticks really good. So this is like my all-purpose glue that I use for almost every single thing that I do. So let's get started. First thing you'll do is, let's say you did not have your fabric repaired, prepared. So you get a piece of scrap fabric that you have. You take your toilet paper roll and you decide how wide that's going to be. You will then put it up a little higher. A little nick right there so you know right where to go and the best thing i find is instead of cutting it is ripping it because it always goes along the salvage so you just rip your fabric so now you have your width that you need so you take and lay your toilet paper roll down there then you take your fabric and or paper if you choose to use paper and you wrap it around till you meet and give it a little extra there Put another nick there and then rip it. And guess what? It's the exact size that you need. It'll fit this so perfect. You want a little extra left over to wrap around so you don't have like an open thing like that. You don't want that. Okay? So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your glue. Now, my glue has been around for a while, I use it all the time. Shake it up so you can get the glue down at the bottom. And you'll put, hold on, let me get this ready for you. So you can see. Okay. 
get it going here. Yeah, when you put your glue up like that, it always tends to go to the bottom. So I have a bad habit of doing that. I try not to. So I'll put some good glue on here, lots of glue. Okay. And then I'll lay it on the side so it doesn't go bad on me. And I'll put this right here, the fabric, right on it, just like that. Okay. So it's lined up. Make sure you line it up so that it goes on all the way around up to the top and everything. Okay. And then usually what I'll do is I will put more glue down. Just kind of go along, add your glue, play, paste it. Special attention to the edges. That's very important because you want to go to the edges really well. And I tend to put fingers on the side there and then put a little bit over the top of that little edge. Because remember you overlapped a little bit so you don't have the C, you don't see the um, brown there. So you're gonna wrap that around, make sure it goes smoothly. If it doesn't go on perfect the first time, just grab it and stretch it, stretch it. That's why you use a nice good glue that you could work with. Guaranteed you get glue on your hands no big deal. It's life in the crafting world. Whoops. Almost knocked, I knocked my camera over. Sorry about that, ladies. So just kind of like do that. And you're set there. So you're done with the glue for a minute. Now, the next step, after you get that done, let me adjust my camera a little bit there. The tripod I have, I'm not liking it so well. It um, is very touchy. If you touch it, it kind of messes, it knocks over. So I have to be very careful. So move this fabric out of the way. So now you have this. It doesn't take long with this particular glue for it to dry. That's the benefit of it. So if you have any strings you don't like, just trim it off kind of like this. Grab your scissors and just trim off the little strings. You're good. So the next step is you'll get your stapler out. Now see your little seam right here? You will take and fold your toilet paper roll in half like that. Oh. Sorry about that. My light went off. Fold it in half just like that. I don't know what's going on. And you will now put two staples. One and two. Okay? So they're now stapled together at the bottom. At that point, if you choose to put ribbon on, you can. You will glue your ribbon all the way around, just like that. Meeting at the sides. And I put my glue upside down again. I mean, set it. I should have put it on the side. I forgot. So... Not much glue. Uh, shake it down again. So cover up the staples. That's very important. You don't want to have them showing. I made a mistake in my last one. Um, I did the ribbon first and then stapled it. So now I realize, oh, I should have put the staples down first. So I'm going to put your glue on here. And... Take your ribbon, and I usually just take a little spot, kind of like that, and wrap it around. And it's kind of nice to have the little frilly sticking out there. Some people don't like that. They go past it, and it's, it's okay. It's whatever you choose. After you do that, you'll cut your ribbon. And the last important step is that you seal that little end there. So you grab your glue, put it up a tiny bit. glue it down okay not so bad right and did you notice I kind of furled it a little bit there there was a reason for that and you don't have to do that see how I kind of furled it a little bit to give it like a little edge there you don't have to do that it's up to you so the glue is movable for a few few minutes you just kind of move it around till you get what you want sometimes it's not perfect sometimes it is it's okay you know, it's all right. 
So there it is. That's that's the end. So that's what the first end looks like. So now you want to take your yarn, unravel it. Okay, now the cool thing about using used yarn is number one, you get most people will throw this away. We're gonna recycle it. So see how pretty it is when it unwinds? So now that's how I got the curly stuff. So now you're gonna take your little thing and one of the things is notice how this is on one side? Put that on the bottom if you can. Kind of get gives it nice. So you take your ribbon, your yarn, and just wrap it around a few times, however many times you want, and then tie it. So you want to grab that, tie it a little knot. And then cut it off. Then you'll grab another piece and you'll stick it up under there and you'll tie that on and clip it. And then you're done with that. There's your pretty little cover. See how pretty that is? Kind of adds a little extra to it. Um, you can make a gift tag to go with it when you're done. Um, then the last step is you put whatever you're going to put in there. Like I said, I made these cute little bracelets. Let me get them out here again. I stick them in my box. I will then pinch it the opposite. So how, see how this one's pinched this way? You'll take it and pinch it this direction. And that's how you make that cute little look. Pinch it, staple it, and put your ribbon on it. And then you have your little gift. The cool, the, another really cool thing is that if you have like business cards or something like that, you can put that in there. If you're sending it like, I don't know if you did Etsy or whatever, some kind of a thing, gift thing, um, you could take and put your gift card in there. I mean, your um, business card in there, sorry about that. Or you can put a gift card in there, whichever you choose. I don't think a real live gift card, you have to kind of cut it down to make it fit. Or you could get a bigger, you could use paper towel rolls. Did you know you could use paper towel rolls and make them longer? And that would make, that would accompany, accompany a um, gift card at that point. So this is how you make it, little gift card box. And it's really cute and it's fun and easy to make. And you can use anything you want, totally recyclable. Don't go out and buy any new materials or anything. Just search your craft room. Um, ask around. Um, look, I have two more paper towel rolls. I mean, toilet paper rolls. I use everything that I could possibly do. So recycle, recycle, recycle. They make beautiful things, as you can see. And like I said, at Christmas time, when you're wrapping up your gifts, take those extra little pieces and make these boxes for your grandkids, your kids, for your great grandkids, for your nieces, nephews, little friends. If you run a home daycare for all those little kids, they could make that. I did this with my little daycare kids. It's a great project. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.